Hi guys, hope you are well. Uh, today we're just going to do a really simple stone. Uh, it's something I've wanted to do for a while and just, you know, other things have got in the way and stuff. And I'm, I want to do a white banded agate. So it's basically white and translucent clay. Um, and you'll have seen the inspiration photo that I posted uh, at the beginning of the video and it just it's just such a beautifully clean looking stone isn't it um, and I just fancied doing some really unusual shaped cabochons with my new moulds um, so all you're going to need is basically some translucent clay and a tiny bit of white clay uh, you could use a bit of pearl clay if you wanted to put a little bit of shimmer in it, I suppose. Um, entirely up to you. You could even put a, a touch of colour in, you know, and have a very pale green or a very pale blue. Um, and what we're going to do is we're just going to mix a tiny bit of white in with some translucent and we're just going to do a Skinner blend uh, and either concertina it um, or just cut it and stack it with some translucent in between um, so you could basically just cut off your translucent um, how much you want to make in the block if that makes sense um, so you know there'll be we're not doing loads of colour mixing or anything as we would for a normal uh, stone oh so I'm just going to cut off about this much and I think, and that's a bit mucky, let's just wipe that edge, I've got a bit of muck on it out of my tub I think, there we go, uh, yeah so I'm just going to be making a block around this size, um, <clears throat> so I'm just going to cut maybe a third off uh, for my tr for the totally translucent layer I'll just in fact I'll cut this into three then it's easier to do so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that piece and keep it all translucent and then um, with these two pieces I think I'll cut this bit in half again um, I'll keep that translucent and I'll add a tiny bit of white to this and a little bit more to that uh, of white and it'll just give us um, a gradient then so I've just taken a tiny bit off that block um, so I'm just going to add like a, a large, well, a pea size to that bit and then a, a large pea to that bit. Uh, so I'll get these mixed in, get these conditioned. Uh, in fact, hmm, there's no point conditioning it. I'll just, um, because I'm going to do a Skinner blend with these so um, I'll get these mixed in uh, then I'll come back and we'll do a Skinner blend because it'll condition the clay while we're doing the Skinner blend if that makes sense right so I'll go and get these two mixed in uh, and I'll see you in a minute okay guys so I've got my two um, different shades of white and I've got my bit of translucent and what we're going to do is we're going to skin a blend these but how we're going to do it is I'm going to split that in half and split that in half so we're going to do some white translucent And the darker white and then 
whichever lighter white I maybe do two translucents next to each other and the darker white on the end so we're going to skin a blend this now it'll be really hard to tell the difference guys until it's baked um, but I'm just going to um, give this a couple of passes it doesn't have to be a perfect blend guys we just want a slight shift in the colour <coughs> so I'm going to skin a blend of this uh, and then I'll be back to explain the next step okay guys I appreciate you really can't tell what's going on but my bands are running that way and what we want to do now is make this uh, into as long a strip as we possibly can so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold this in like that and then I'm going to feed it into the pasta machine that way and take it down until I've gone as thin as I possibly can and then with just the translucent uh, I'm going to do exactly the same and get a thin band of it so I'll see you in a minute when I've done these okay guys so I've got my thin band of the mix of you know the Skinner blend of translucent and white and I've also done my translucent on a thin band as well now it's entirely up to you what you want to do I managed to get mine down to a six um, just trying to not get it to stick together because this clay is really sticky you could concertina if you so wish or you could cut it and make a block with it and I think that's what I'm going to do because then oh, let me just put a bit of paper down for this then I can insert some layers of translucent as well in between so I think um, I'll just fold this bit over for now just to get rid of that scabby bit of tail and I'm just going to make a stack make sure you can see let's do it in the middle here uh, I'm just going to make a stack now um, what we're talking two inches maybe so if I cut my strip into two inch pieces and then I can just um, layer it up so let's just cut a few of these to get us going and then I'm going to put a couple of pieces of translucent in uh, and I think I just need to move this a minute let me just cut a few of these and I'm going to do some thicker and some thinner pieces let's just get that air out so I'm going to do um, two translucent there and then go back to my bands maybe do two bands and a piece of translucent entirely up to you guys how you stack this of course um, let me just stretch this back out again I'll do some twos and of course we're not going to be able to tell what we've got till it's baked are we because it all just looks exactly the same so I'll put three of them this time two translucent one 
this has got a bit stuck. There we go. And I'll just cut these last ones into the two inch blocks along with this one. Where are we? Two, two, two. Okay. So let's just pop this bit down again. Doesn't matter if it's got a bit ripped or anything. It all adds. Let's do two of them. And then I'll do three translucent. And then I'm just going to go one of them this translucent and I'll just fold that end over and then I can finish with these two pieces that should have a bit of white in them okay so there's our block let's give it a little roll and get some of this air out obviously got a bit of air trapped but not to worry we can just soon get rid of that and just get this into a cohesive block this is going to be one that you're all going to hate because you're not going to even know what it's going to look like till it's done <laughs> I've just wanted to do it guys apologies there I've got a nice block now and I have got a bit of grubby fingerprints on it so I'll just get a little bit of alcohol and just clean those marks off make sure I know which way up I'm supposed to be of course there we go so there's our block let's get a couple of these molds out I'm just going to give these a wipe because they're a bit dusty from when I was sanding and these moulds are um, Yaroslav moulds off Etsy. Um, there's a little link in my um, description, guys. This that's where I buy the moulds from. He's a really nice chap, actually. I'll do these funky ones first so let's just cut a lump off this I've got a few air bubbles trapped in there but I'm not going to worry and I'm just going to distort it to get it in the mold give that a little roll And of course, none of these scraps will get wasted, guys. You know me. I'll just pop that to one side. Okay, that's nice. I'll just cut another chunk off. Oh, got a bit of water in that. And again, I'll just distort it a little bit. Oh. just get that to flatten out first getting quite good at judging how much clay needs to go in these moulds now is it funny so 
pencil them to a perfect I'll get them out in a sec I love the shape of this one <coughs> quite a deep one as well so I may not judge this one too good and uh, let's try Go, that's that one and then these two slithers I'm going to use to build up into this one so I'm just going to make this block a bit longer and a bit thinner for these and hopefully I'll get to uh, some nice pieces out of it Starting it a bit and hoping that I've just started it the right way for the banding. Oh, I caught that one with my nail. <coughs> Excuse me. roll that in a minute and this should just fit nice in here let's just distort it a little bit roll now I just like smoothing it away from the edge then I don't get that line from the mould okay right that's those now then these are all the bits I've slithered off aren't they I wonder if I've got a small mould that these could go in hmm let me just have a quick look and see what I've got hanging around handy I don't think there's enough to fill that one Well, that one these are all the bigger things maybe the, this one scraps down first and then pop this bit on top might not completely fill it but oh that's not so bad there we go okay let's get a scrap of paper 
Now I'm going to pop these out guys, you can bake in these moulds but I'm going to pop them out just because I find it with especially with white and translucent I can keep my eye on them better if they're not in a mould. think they could have been done with being pressed down a little bit harder. Still got a few little marks in there. I'm just going to pop them back in guys, sorry to faff. I mustn't have just pushed the clay right in and it's caused a couple of bubble marks if that makes sense. Let's make sure they're all firmly pressed down. Now that should be better, I think. Let's try again. One, two, go. three. That's better. Still a little dimple in that one, but. I can live with that. Nothing about sanding won't fix. Okay, so I've got those three. A little mark on that, but I'm not going to worry. Let's get this one out. Oh, let, let me just push these down and make sure that that clay is firmly in. the shape of that it's like a tooth like a shark's tooth or something isn't it it's lovely okay and let's get these two out that's those two again I've got a bit of a mark on it but I'm not going to stress it guys And this is the one with the scraps. Again, a little mark there, bit of fluff. Okay, I'll get these in the oven. I'll see you when they're done. See you in a min. Hi guys, uh, we're back. Here's all the pieces. They look brilliant. Uh, I've just quickly sanded and buffed two. Um, I'm not sure you're going to make it out in this light but uh, you'll have seen some good photos. I'm sure the banding looks amazing. I'm really pleased with how they've turned out. I'm sorry if you can hear ticking in the background guys. That's the one with the scraps and these are just some of the other ones. I haven't done anything with these guys. I've not even sanded them or anything. Some lovely depth with the banding on them. That one's beautiful. When it's had a sand, it's going to look lovely. And I quite like this one too. I like that wave where I've distorted it. But yeah, there you go guys. I'm really that shape's fabulous, isn't it? That's gonna look pretty cool, wire wrapped maybe. You know, leave a gap there and just bring it up. Uh, I'm not gonna do anything with these guys because the video's uh, quite long I think as it is. Uh, but there you go. Uh, 
white banded agate. See you soon. Bye.